Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This one is an HP 15-DB0004 laptop. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can replace, clean and service your laptop from inside because they do have a fan and heat sink and that requires a thermal paste and you should be able to do your own uh, servicing every year or you should do it every year or every year and a half depending the usage that you give daily. So by doing servicing you're not gonna change anything in the system, your system is still gonna run just fine the way it is, no files will be replaced or anything like that. So it's safe to do it and you can do it at home. I'm gonna take you on a step by step how you can do this. I'm gonna go over the tools that I'll be using. Tool number one, we had a screwdriver set. I recommend everybody to get the uh, iFixit screwdriver set as these are one of the best screwdrivers out there. These are made of S2 class steel. That means these are really hardened steel and they will last you many years. You can get the simple set, just the screwdrivers or you can get the pro set which costs a little bit more and it comes with the tweezers, opening tools, this and a few other stuff. But if you don't get it, get a simple set. And for the opening tool, I'm gonna to be using a guitar pick. Uh, metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. You need a curved tweezers, a straight or curved tweezers. I'm gonna use a curved one. You need a toothbrush, a new or used old toothbrush. You need an alcohol isopropolic or isopropolic 95% plus. I'll leave the link in the video description. A workshop towel. It's really good to have a really good workshop towel. These are really nice and they don't damage the board or and they can clean up really nicely with this one. These are my favorites. Also, you need your thermal paste. I'll be using an Arctic MX4. These are one of the really good ones. If you want to go overboard and overkill, go with the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. Again, those links will be in my video description. All right, with all this on hand, we're going to get it started. So first thing first, power off the laptop. Flip it upside down. And you're going to see a few screws down here. Three in the middle and one right in the front of the laptop. We're gonna, there's a few hidden screws which we're going to expose right now. It's right under the front rubber cover and on the back rubber cover. To remove the back rubber cover, just stick the opening tool right at the bottom of the uh, rubber and just lift it up. There should be an adhesive. So lift it up in 45 degree angle and pull it upward. Do not go over like this, otherwise you're gonna crack the rubber. So bring it up this way so you can remove it safely. And stick it beside it. To the front one, same thing. Bring it from the side, 45 degree, and stick it to the side. Now we're going to start from one corner and we're going to remove all the screws that we see on the bottom cover. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It will be a great motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the video comments. Alright, now that we remove all the screws, we're gonna grab the opening tool and we're gonna open up the laptop a little bit. So what are we gonna do in here? We're gonna stick the opening tool or the guitar pick in this case between the bottom and the top cover, just like that. And we're gonna twist it outward. So pretty much you wanna lift up the inside one on here. So we wanna stick it there and lift it up like this. And you wanna hear a few clicks. That's what you wanna hear. Those are the tiny clips that are getting loose. Some clips may break during the process, depending how old is your laptop, that's fine. The clips are not holding the laptop together, it's the screws that they do the job. So don't worry about if you break one or two clips, nothing will happen. But you shouldn't, you should be fine. Because sometimes I get really old laptops and the plastic are really dried up. And those eventually keep breaking one of the tiny clips, which is nothing. Your laptop is still going to close down perfectly fine. So I went all the way to the back corner, side and in the front. Now I'm going to close up the screen. We're going to grab it from the front end, wiggle it around, move it around and it should release the rest. And there's a tiny clip in the middle that it should release itself once you pick it up. So this is the bottom chassis, bottom case. You can see there's a nice dusty right here. You can take it outside with a compressor, clean it up with a toothbrush, clean it up nicely. All right, down here we have the fan system, the cooling, the battery, which is kind of inflated right here. I can see there's one, two, three cells. 
it's kind of bulgy right here so that means your battery must be replaced or it's not going to hold charge first thing first we're going to remove the battery by removing three screws one two three the screws again are the same size and height so don't worry about mismatching these ones all right once we remove the screws now you want to grab it from the front and by the contact bring it up a little bit as once you see that it's connected between the jack you want to pull it towards the fan so you can release the back end do not pull it towards the ceiling otherwise you're going to break the hinges right here forward so that's your battery again there's a kind of very dirty you can take it out and clean it and now here we're going to work on the heatsink and the fan first thing first let's go ahead and remove the screw for the fan which is one right here and and next we're going to remove the three screws for the heatsink i mean four screws for the heatsink these are the short screws once you remove it grab the heatsink from here do not grab it from the back here otherwise you're going to bend the tubing grab it from here wiggle it around and it should release itself and you can see it's really clogged up and the rest of the clock is right over here so that's why it was overheating and it wasn't doing its job nicely so there's a you can disconnect the fan cable right from here just do not put on the cable that's why you have to use the tweezers to put your tweezers beside the jack right here and wiggle around and pull it towards the fan and it will disconnect itself just hold it let me see and there we have it okay now we're gonna remove this pile of dust from here and we're gonna clean it up i'm gonna take it outside and clean up nicely and i'll be back we can open up the fan if you want to go really do a really good job then you want to keep doing follow these instructions so what are we going to do in here we want to lift up a little bit we don't want to bend too much this hooks right in here just put your tweezers underneath lift up a little bit here here little tiny hooks you once you open this hooks a little bit you can remove the top plate there's a one it's a tiny screw right there we're going to remove that screw that's a phillips double zero so remove that tiny screw now we can lift up this cover and we can clean up the fan and now we can actually use the toothbrush nicely in here and clean it up and blow some air through here so i'm going to take it outside and clean it up and i'll be back right after this all right guys now i cleaned up the fan condenser right there i clean up the fan nicely so before we put it back together we're going to bend a little bit back inward these clips so i'm just going to bend it inward a little bit about one millimeter so you can hold nicely grip to these hooks we're going to put it through the hooks right here uh, we're going to align it and we're going to push it down so you hear tiny clicks make sure it just hooks right through there and put that tiny single screw that you removed, the small one, right on the plate. Right there. Okay, now with this, all this removed, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna clean up the uh, thermal paste from this uh, CPU. So we're gonna grab a little bit of the workshop towel, and we're gonna spray the alcohol right on top here. And we're gonna just rub over the CPU die. Don't worry, you're not gonna damage the capacitors as long as you use this towel. Because the towel is really fragile. Once you put alcohol, it just rips apart and it will not damage the capacitors. That's why it's important to put the alcohol always on the towel. So it will not damage the capacitors around the CPU. Just rub it around in a circular motion. Once it's finished, use the dry part to clean up nicely every dust particle on the crystal die make sure it's nice and shiny same thing we're going to use the same one to clean up the cpu heatsink so clean it up nicely and there we have it all right now we're going to grab we're going to grab a thermal paste we're going to put one drop of thermal paste right in the middle of the die next what you want to do you want to grab the fan 
put it right here with an offset position put the fan jack right inside in there fan connector in the jack bring the fan right here make sure the cables are not under the fan it's nicely in there do a few rotation make sure it's not hitting any plate put the single screw that you removed for the fan on the left side Now we're gonna grab the heatsink evenly. Make sure you put it once you put it down, do not lift it up, bring it down evenly on the CPU. And we're gonna cross the screw the screws in here. They have a little number, it says one, two, three, four, or you can do two, one, three, four, doesn't matter as long as you cross the screw them. I always start from this corner, from the far corner. So that the reason for this numbering is so that you can spread the thermal paste evenly over the die. So if you do from top to bottom, it will just push the thermal paste towards one side and it's not going to spread around nicely. There we have it. Now our laptop is ready and with a new fresh thermal paste ready to go. Once we finish with this one, we're going to put the battery back in. You're going to grab the battery. This battery has been replaced, but I have to tell to the client, but yeah, just put the back end of the battery down in the hooks, bring it down evenly, and push down right in a jack letter firmly so it goes right through. Next, just put the three screws for the you want to put the three screw for the battery. There is no screw right here, so don't put it, otherwise, you're going to damage the ribbon cable on the bottom. All right. Once you have this one in here, the last thing down here would be grab the bottom cover and you want to put the bottom cover, you want to put the USB uh, this side down first, you want to scoop it right through the I.O. side, scoop it in 45 degree angle, hold it there and then press the corners and press the other side, press the corners and there's a clip in the middle, you want to press those two. Now you want to push down, I see you want to hear those clicks. Now you can open up the screen and if you see a little gaps openings right, like this, you can just pinch them together and it will go to its place. Check the side to the corner back. And once you finish with those, and the last thing down here will be to put the bottom screws right under and put the rubber rubbers right over. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, please click that like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm just going to finish up putting up the screws.